was talking to someone who was wanting to make changes in their life and to um, kind of, you know, get on a better path or direction or whatever. And they were facing a lot of insecurities and whatnot, like we all do, I guess, at some time. And I was explaining to her, you know, what I saw and whatnot. And she says, well, how do I make these changes? Well, see, now I've said this before, but I thought this means I should say it again because it's been a while. Sometimes if you need something to happen, something in the way you perceive the world or the way you react with the world around you, and you know what it is you need to be, but you're just not sure exactly how to get there, fake it till you make it. In other words, create the idea of who you want to be and then put the actions behind that until it becomes your reality. And that will help you, I think, to um, become the person that you're hoping to. Now, let me tell you this. Let's just say an oak tree is an oak tree. Pine tree is a pine tree, <laughs> okay? And I don't care what you do to that, let's say that pine tree. It's, it's not going to change its core being. It is what it is. But if you were to, like, take it and not let no sun maybe get to one side or whatnot, it would maybe grow in a one-sided kind of fashion. If you clipped too many branches here or there, it might get warped and, and grow in a twisty kind of fashion. But if it's, you know, fertilized properly and given the proper amount of sun and water and all this, it will grow and flourish and be very well-rounded. Unfortunately, I think a lot of us, like a lot of trees, maybe didn't get the proper amount of sun or the, the you know, rain or the whatever. We got improper pruning. And so it kind of made us grow in ways that were not best. But I think we might can straighten a whole lot of that out by putting in the, the appropriate amount of care, okay? And that is through reminding yourself of your self-worth, the way you would treat your best friend. You know, give yourself the same encouragement and the same uplifting advice or whatever you might give to your very best friend if they were in your situation. And that could help correct that imbalance, you might say. And until it is, as I said, fake it till you make it. Pretend to be who you want to be because, like, you won't change your core, but you can change the direction that you're growing. You know, I will tell you, for example, I'll give you one quick example and I'm done. I am naturally, believe it or not, <laughs> very, people who know me <laughs> very well, that I'm very sensitive, very shy, actually, and outright nervous person, which is probably shocking to people who come to see me in sesh and group things because I seem opposite, but I'm actually very shy and whatnot. So anyway, I have this aunt, and uh, her name is Ruby, and a lot of the people in the family have actually called me Little Ruby because I seem a whole lot like her, and she's pretty awesome. And we can't go anywhere. Everywhere we go, somebody, you know, recognizes her and runs up to her. And, you know, and they see her as this really happy, you know, outgoing person. And actually, secretly, she's a very private person, too. But she's always just laughing and going on and cutting up. And, you know, she's a very strong personality and blah, 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 and this and that. When I first started seeing people, it was extremely difficult for me. Because, you know, I'm being judged, I feel like. And a lot of people that come to see me are a heck of a lot smarter and wiser than I ever will be. But they come to see me for whatever reason, and I need to, to give them what they need. And even though I might have the information, you know, to give them, it's like how it's packaged needed to be improved upon, I felt. So I faked. I imitated. I imitated the actions that I saw in my aunt. I did the things I saw her do, and I imitated that until I incorporated that into my being. And so while at first it was like I'm really having to just create this persona, in the end, that is who I am. I didn't change my core being, but I refined my actions. I pruned <laughs> the tree that I am, you must say, to be a more appropriate vehicle in order to do the job that I do in a much better way. And I'm better off and happier for it 
just as I hope, you know, the people that are around me are also benefiting by that. So again, you won't change your core being, but you can change the way you're growing and the direction that you're taking, and that's how you start it. You know, you start it by putting into action the thoughts that create you, that make you up. Okay? You change your thoughts, you change the actions, one affects the other, and vice versa. Okay, that's it for today.